Five questions. All righty, here's your warm up for the day. Our first one fill in the blank. Negative, negative nine equals what? What happens when you have two negatives in a row? Not add it, but yeah, but also do it on your board. All right, number two, on Monday morning at 5.30 a.m., it was 21 degrees outside in Alaska. By noon, the temperature had dropped 34 degrees. What is the temperature in Alaska at noon? Number three, put those in order from least to greatest. 12, 0, negative 15, positive 15, negative 1 half, 3 fourths, and 1. And then number four, you're adding together 1 and 234 thousandths plus 567, six, wow, 5,678 ten thousandths. So there's four problems there. I'm going to give you guys until 10, 12. That's eight minutes. Eight minutes to do these four problems. Go. What? What? Okay, if you're working on these problems, please.
Okay, about one more minute. Go ahead and go over these. All right, so about four problems shouldn't take us too long. They're pretty quick problems, actually. All right, can we see the board behind me? We good? Yes, no, maybe so. All right. So, number one, we need to fill in the blank a negative, negative nine. What happens when you see these two negatives in a row? Um, it just makes it a positive. Two negatives cancel each other out and they become positive. So a negative, negative nine is just a positive nine. You're done. Wow. I know. Mind blown. Our next one. The temperature starts at 21 degrees. And then it drops. 34 degrees. Am I going to add or subtract 34? Subtract 34. Um, as long as you realize it's going to be negative. Yeah. So now we need to figure out how to do this. Um, in order to do it, basically you just got to subtract, right? You can put the 34 on top and subtract, but what's your answer here when you do this? It's a negative 13 degrees. This is a negative number. It goes into negative 13 degrees. 
Okay. Number three, I think is the hardest one on here. We need to put this in order from least to greatest. But we need them all to be decimals first. All of the whole numbers are already decimals. They just have invisible decimals, right? So they're already that. We need to change these two to the decimals first. These are two that you should um, learn and get off the top of your head. They're ones that um, you're going to need all the time. What is negative one half as a decimal, Charlie? One, six, point five. So positive or negative though? Negative. Negative point five. Five tenths is the same as negative one half. What about three fourths? What is this one as a decimal? Five. Not point two five. Point seven five. Seventy five hundredths. Good. So now we have our decimals instead. Which one? Is, we need to go from least to greatest. Which one is the farthest left on a number line? What's the first one? Negative 15. Negative 15 will be first. It's the smallest. Then what? Negative 0.5. Then we still have one last negative, so we have a negative 0.5, but we need to write that in its original form. Negative 1 half. Then what? Zero. The zero is our next one right in the middle. Then what? One. It is not one. Why is it not one? What are we missing first? Good. Three fourths is less than one, so three fourths needs to come next. Then what? One. Then or one? Then what? Don't bring the twelve. We have twelve here. Then fifteen. This is the order it should be in. This is least to greatest. If you were to plot all these points on the number line. This is the order they would go in on your number line. Because you don't draw the number line to show the house. You can. You just got to draw the number line to show half. Plus, if you look at the number line up here, halfway between 0 and 1 is 0.5. You just got to go halfway between it. Yeah. And then our last one, number 4. Adding. When I add decimals, what do I need to do? Line them up. Line them up. So we have 1, 0. 0.234. Then we have 0. 0.5678. What am I missing? What do I need to do? Add a placeholder 0. Then we need to add. What is 0 plus 8? 8. What is 4 plus 7? 11. 11 carrier 1. What is 1 plus 6 plus 3? Then carrier one. What is one plus two plus five? Eight. Eight. Drop down your decimal. And what is one plus zero? One. One. Here's your answer. One point eight zero one eight. Good. All right. That is our uh, warm up for math today. I actually don't think it'll take us too long. We're gonna go ahead and um, do a. You don't need a computer? No, you, well, those of you in class will not need your computers. Those of you online will because you need to be able to see it. I'm going to present a PowerPoint that has some practice on it. We're going to do them. Um, if we were in person, it would be a game. But we don't really have a way to make that a game. So it's not going to be a game. Just practice. Sorry. We're going to do quizzes tomorrow. So. So. I'm going to erase behind me so that we can. I can write behind me. I'm going to have to download that previous so. All right. Do I need to put that on my screen? I do, don't I? Yeah. Yep, hold up. Internet disconnected. Hang on. Are we back? Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, those of you here, let us talking, please. Um, sorry, the internet cut out for a second. So I'm gonna present my screen for us. Okay. What we're gonna do. 
is basically it's a game. What is PEMDAS? But first of all, what does the P in PEMDAS stand for? Parentheses. Good. What about the E? Exponents. M? Multiplication. Division or D? Division. A? Addition. And the S? Subtraction. So it is the order that you will do the operations. Charlie, computer off, please pay attention to what we are doing. Thank you. Now, um, basically, oh, there you go. When you get to multiplication and division, like we talked about yesterday, work from left to right. Multiplication will not always come first. Same with addition and subtraction. If those are the only two left, work from left to right. Addition might not always be the first one. The rules of this game are, um, I mean, it's kind of hard to play it as an actual game, so I'm sorry. Um, you're going to have a little bit more than one minute to work on each problem. But first, use only your brain. Please don't Google your answers or use a calculator. Do it all with your brain and the skills that you have. Number two, you will have about one minute. I'm probably going to give you like two minutes on each problem to work on the problem before I go over the answers. Number three, if you get the question correct, I'm going to trust you that you got it correct and you're going to give yourself one point. And again, if you got it wrong, you don't get any points. Um, but again, not really a game. I can't give out prizes right now because of COVID. So you get bragging rights because you won, whether you're online or in person. <laughs> um, whoever has the points, the most points at the end will win. So essentially, there's a tiebreaker at the end if there's a tie. So essentially, I think there's four problems. I'm not going to go look because then you guys will see the answers. But I think there's four or five problems plus the tiebreaker if we need it. So keep track of how many you get right. Please um, be honest. Again, nobody wins anything for real. So it's just a fun game to practice. But your first problem is this. 4 plus 6 times 12 divided by 2 to the second power. I'm going to give you guys two minutes on this one. So go ahead and work it out, those of you here. Do it on your desk, so I'll walk around and look at it. Those of you online, do it on a piece of paper or a whiteboard if you have it. But just make sure you are practicing it along with us, please. Go ahead and be working on this first one. It's not saliva, it's saliva. Okay, go. Work on the problem. Not saliva,
a bag of that money. Do you feel like it's going to be Elijah or Dylan? Yeah. Elijah or Dylan? I don't know. I mean, it could be other people too. Mm -hmm. Can we see that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. We're running over it. Again, if you get it right, give yourself a point. Please be honest about it. Don't just you know, lie. Not going to get you anywhere in life if you lie. First thing we need to do is start with what? The parentheses. You're going to start by doing 4 plus 6. What is 4 plus 6? 10. Times 12 divided by 2 to the second power. Remember, you just drop everything down that you did not work with. We got rid of the parentheses. What should we do now? The exponent. An exponent of 2 squared is what? 2 times 2. What is 2 times 2? 4. So we have 10 times 12 divided by 4. Now, all we have left is multiplication and division. So we're going to go from left to right. So we're going to start with 10 times 12. What is 10 times 12? Uh, 120. And then we need to divide 120 by 4. What do you get? 30. 30. 30 is your answer. How do you guys do? Good, bad? Coming oh, back to the second What about online? How do you guys do? Good? Yeah, but you don't really win anything. Sorry. I know. Okay. Good. We'll still do the tiebreaker anyway, just as practice, probably. But the people that are tied will, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so our next problem is this. 3 to the second power times 2 minus 10. I'm going to give you guys another two minutes on this one. Okay, I'll get you a bandage. Okay, try this problem, please. I just went over one. You should at least try it. Yeah. Okay, sit tight. That sounds like a little easier. Well, we're doing PEMDAS. Practicing PEMDAS. We hope to do it on time, so Yeah, also. How many students have we have last night, Right. 
right, let's go ahead and go over this one. Oh, no. so let me write it up here. So we have 3 squared times 2 minus 10. Do we see any parentheses we need to do first? Yeah. Nope. So what do I do first? Exponent. My exponent. Now, I saw this a few times. Your exponent is not 3 times 2. It is 3 multiplied together twice. Oh, 3 right. times 3. What is 3 times 3? 9. Nine. I get it wrong. Times 2 minus oh, 10. What am I going to do next? Uh, do my multiplication. What is 9 times 2? 18, subtracting 10, and 8. 8 is your answer. How'd you guys do? Good, Brad. What about online? How'd you guys do out here? Can I give myself like half a point? No. You didn't even work on it. I was fast if you had none done. Good. I'm seeing a couple of goods there. Awesome. So, if we look at our, um, our next one, I think we might have five total. I don't know for sure. But here's our next one. It's a little bit longer. 10 minus 7 plus 16 divided by 4. Okay, let's take about two minutes. Is two minutes enough time? It's because you're not even trying them, Yoshi. You can't complain if you don't even try. You aren't even attempting them. So, try them.
Let's go ahead and go over this. We have two sets of parentheses here. You can do them both at the same time, honestly. Just make sure you do them separately. You can't do them together. You've got to be separately. What is 10 minus 7? 3. Plus, what is 16 divided by 4? 4. What is 3 plus 4? 7. All done? That, that was a quick one, huh? I kind of got it. Huh? I got it though. Alrighty. Give yourself a point if you got it right. If not, no points. Okay, our right, next one. This one. Two plus twelve times two minus sixteen divided by four. Take this one slow. If there are multiple things inside the parentheses. You still got to do order of operations inside the parentheses, too. Okay, try this one. about one more minute. I'm <laughs> 
Students and teachers, please excuse the interruption. There will be lunch recess outside. Yay. Lunch recess will be outside. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and go over this one. This one's a little bit different. I need that help on this one. Did you ask for it? Um, no. 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 Okay, well, now you can listen and see where you went wrong. Okay. So, on this one, because we have two things inside the parentheses, we have to start with the multiplication that's inside the parentheses. So, we still have our 2 plus. What is 12 times 2? 24. 24. And close that parentheses. So we still have some parentheses left to do, but just drop down the rest. Now we still have parentheses, so what should I do next? Finish the parentheses. What is 2 plus 24? 26. 26 minus 16 divided by 4. So now I have a subtraction and division left. What should I do first? Uh, division. The division. Do the division first. What is 16 divided by 4? Four? 4. 4. And now we can do 26 minus 4. 22. 22. 22 is your answer. Oh, How are we doing on that one? Good? Yeah. Bad? Is it helpful the more you do it, the more you practice? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, All right. I think uh, okay, we have two more after this plus a tiebreaker. So there's six questions total. So we'll go ahead and work on this one. 64 minus 8 plus 12 times 2 plus 9. No parentheses or exponents this time. So what do you start with? Go ahead and work on that. Okay, about one more minute. I'm not quite done yet, Yoshi, though. You have a couple more things to do on there. You're good so far.
All right, let's go ahead and go over this one. We have subtraction, addition, and multiplication. Do we see any parentheses to work with? No. Nope, so nothing there. What about exponents? No. Okay, multiplication and division? Yes. Yep, we can do our multiplication first. So we have 64 minus 8 plus. What is 12 times 2? 24. 24. Plus 9. Don't forget to drop down the extra stuff. That's important. So now we only have subtraction and addition left. Do, what do I do? Do I do one of them or do I go left to right? Yeah. Left to right. Start with 64 minus 8. What is 64 minus 8? 56 plus 24 plus 9. Well, I got it wrong. Now we can just keep going left to right. What's 56 plus 24? 80 plus 9 is 89. How'd you guys do on that? All right. Good, good, good. All right. Let's do another one. There's our answer. Question five. Three to the third power minus two to the third power. Yes. Okay. Three to the third power minus two to the third power. Okay, about two minutes on this one. and do this one. Three to the third power means we're going to take the number three and multiply it together three times. So it's three times three times three minus, and then again, I'm going to put this in parentheses just because so we know we need to do it first. Then we need to do the number two multiply together three times. So that's a two times two times two. So let's do this. What is three times three? Nine. nine. So we did three times three is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven minus. So three to the third power is twenty-seven. We need to do two to the third power. What is two times two? Four. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight. So we did two to the third power. We did our exponents. Now we need to subtract twenty-seven minus eight is nineteen. Okay. Okay, there is one problem left. I'm pretty sure it's kind of difficult because it's a tiebreaker. So let's see how well you guys do on this one. Oh, it doesn't look too bad actually at all. Nine plus five minus ten times six minus eight. Start with your multiplication and go from there. Uh, um, everybody's doing it just because. Yep, everybody is doing this one, please.
Oh, you know why this is hard? Because you get negatives. Yep, you get some negative numbers in this one. So be careful. Watch your negatives. No, it's just subtracting eight. Oh, my charge is every three days, but There's no exponents, so start with your multiplication. So we have 9 plus 5 minus 60 minus 8. Now that we have addition and subtraction left, we just need to go from left to right. So we need to do 9 plus 5 first. What is 9 plus 5? 14. 14 minus 60 minus 8. Pretty sure this is where most of it kind of went wrong. Okay. We need to do 14 minus 60. That puts you negative. It becomes negative 46. Maybe I did see some. I don't know for sure. We need to do minus 8. Okay. Then we have negative 46 minus 8. So remember, when you do, you have, um, yeah, I might have thought looked at the answers wrong. Um, when you have two opposite ones, you need to change this. This is like adding the opposite. So, I don't know. I don't remember the answers. Negative 46 plus negative 8 is still a negative 54. Yes, I got it right. Okay, so a few of you guys got it. It's kind of a hard one, though. The negatives kind of throw you off a little bit, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, for those of you that are online, that is the end of the live lesson. We have, uh, guys, we have science at 1230 like normal, so we will see you guys later at science. I don't know who won.
Like I said, we were actually.